Hey, hello everyone. Dennis Kay here with Belize Islands Real Estate. It's a little chilly today where we're at, so I uh, had the windows open, but it's only in the uh, high 40s. We're in the east of France right now, so I thought I'd throw on my uh, Disney hoodie. Got uh, Mickey Mouse right there. And uh, actually, this ties in well with today's episode of our Q&A because a lot of you have been asking me, if you build a house on or near Secret Beach, uh, how will you rent it out? Uh, will you rent it out through Airbnb, through a property manager? And I thought I'd start with this because Steph and I have been able to travel uh, to many different countries around the world. And in fact, my, my wife loves Disney. Uh, I like it, but she loves it. And our real estate investments have now helped us travel to every single Disney around the world. So we've been to Paris, uh, recently California, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Tokyo, and of course Orlando. So that's all of them. But what we realized is, is that wherever we stayed, uh, we had an incredible experience that was different depending on which country it was in. So now for those of you, let me just take this thing off. So for those of you who have been asking about uh, uh, property rentals in and around uh, Ambergris Key, and especially at Secret Beach, uh, I wanted to put some information together for you. Because here's the thing, people are looking for an experience. Uh, now, some people say, I'm just happy with the bed and that's it because during the day I'm going to be snorkeling and diving and fishing and at night I'm going to be uh, at the beach bars and listening to some music. So I, I just want a place to crash. Well, you know, that might be true, but they're, they they always appreciate something a little bit more than just a bed. Uh, they like some niceties. They like some pampering. And so here brings me uh, to an interesting idea that I've been mulling around for a while now regarding those of you who are currently buying land in and around Secret Beach and plan on putting one of those uh, premier homes in the property or maybe even a custom hardwood home. And you're thinking you want to use it for maybe several weeks, several months of the year, but then you want to rent it out to overnight guest so you can recoup some of your money, maybe even make a profit. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You can use that money to uh, buy plane tickets down or pay for your next uh, trip to the Blue Hole. So there's different ways to rent out your house at Secret Beach. Uh, one way is to get a Belize Tourism Board license for the place because each place that's rented to tourists has to go through the Belize Tourism Board. So once you have that permit or that license in place, then you could simply throw it up on Airbnb and handle everything yourself. Uh, if you do this from the United States or Canada, you know, if you're sitting at your computer taking reservations, then you're going to have to have someone on island uh, to do a meet and greet at the airport, to do the check-in, check-out, wash the sheets, clean the place, things like that. But really, I, I think it boils down to having two important um, aspects of a rental in place. So let's just cover the, the first aspect, which is, which is kind of dry and boring. Uh, who is going to meet your guest at the house? Who's going to give them the keys, let them in, show them around, do the meet and greet? Uh, who's going to provide towels, change the sheets, wash the laundry, uh, do the final cleaning after they're gone, and get the place ready for the next guest? So some companies do that on island. They're property management companies, and they'll either specialize in long-term rentals, so doing that for uh, people who are renting six months or more out of the year, or they'll do that for short-term rentals, which usually means by the night to tourists. Now, what I found works extremely well for my own travels is that uh, some of the Airbnbs that I've stayed at have a mandatory seven-night stay. So their check-ins would be Saturday afternoon, their checkouts would be Saturday morning, and then they leave a window there of about four or five hours to do the flip, repair anything, touch up anything that needs to be touched up, get the new sheets on the bed, and have it ready to go. What this does, this eliminates the uh, the odd dates that can't be filled. So maybe you got someone coming in for the weekend, and it's open for a night or two, and then your next guest wanted to come early, but it's booked. So uh, I've stayed in places where they demanded that I come in Saturday to Saturday. And you know what? I respect that because they were able to uh, have a, a better system in place for check-in, check-out. So for example, let, let's say you do this. You, you build a house near Secret Beach, maybe on that sixth row lot. I know a couple of you are looking at that sixth row lot. So you buy the sixth row lot, you build a house on it, and now each Saturday you have someone go to the airport in San Pedro, bring the guest up to the house, 
do the check in, check out, uh, check in and everything. But before that, you would have gone up there in the morning, uh, checked out the guest, uh, maybe arranged for them to get to the airport on their own, and then you clean it, have it ready. But that's one day a week, just one solid day a week. You have your housekeepers up there and your check out, check in, check out personnel, rather than. Uh, having weird times, weird days. When is this person coming in? When is that person coming in? What's nice about Ambergris Key is most people do arrive in the morning, uh, or excuse me, leave in the morning, and most people um, uh, arrive on Ambergris Key sometime in the afternoon. So it makes it very, very uh, interesting. Uh, now regarding who would do this for you, again, there are companies on island who provide this service, but I think there is an excellent opportunity for one of the businesses who are already at Secret Beach to open this up as a side business, managing the properties there. For example, you have Maruba's Day Spa. I mean, how cool would it be if the owners of Maruba would decide to manage maybe four or five or six homes all at Secret Beach, provide that service, and then maybe give, I don't know, maybe a 10, 15% discount to all spa treatments at their place. Maybe offer, even offer in-home spa treatments to your guest. That would be pretty cool. You could also arrange maybe from someone, for example, at um, Secret Beach Bar and Grill, which uh, has an excellent owner, an excellent staff. Perhaps you partnered with them and someone who is already at Secret Beach every day or every other day, uh, they're there to really uh, handle all the aspects of the home. Let's say the, um, the solar batteries go down and they, uh, the owners don't know how to switch them over. Or let's say there's a, an issue with the water pressure. Well, there, it's nice to have somebody already up in that area to handle those things rather than trying to get somebody from San Pedro to come up to schedule a time to see the house. So I think it's going to be very uh uh, very uh, important that someone manage all the properties at Secret Beach who's already up there every day. Okay, so that's the technical side. Now, more importantly is the experience that your guests are going to get because experience makes everything. You know, right now, if you go on Airbnb and you look at Amberger Ski, you see different levels of, of houses, apartments, rooms for rent, and widely different reviews because just because somebody had the funds to buy a home at Ambergris Key, doesn't mean they're a good renter. Doesn't mean they understand customer service, customer experiences. So what you really wanna do is create something that is special, memorable, get, get somebody to write the review of all reviews that says, wow, I will be back. I highly recommend this place because here's what they did for me. Here, here's how they went way above and beyond my expectations. And again, use somebody already up at Secret Beach to provide this. Here, here's, here's the way it would work. On Saturday, when your new guests check in, uh, somebody who's already at Secret Beach walks into the property, takes them over to Secret Beach, buys them their first cocktail, you know, shows them around, and, and then offers to set up all their snorkeling, diving tours, uh, maybe provide dinner reservations, whatnot, give them the full experience. Maybe, maybe uh, the house comes with kayaks, right? So they say, you know what, if you go out here to the sandbar, there's a fantastic spot to go picnicking. Uh, just really help them to have a wonderful time. Maybe that same person can arrange for a chef to come and cook them a special lobster or conch or grouper dinner inside their house. All right, now how do you think they would feel? Now, the reason this would work well is because sometimes individual Airbnbs try to offer the service, but it can be kind of cost prohibitive because each standalone home now uh, must have a dedicated person to it. Uh, somebody who's there to answer questions, take reservations, set up things. But if you had a, uh, a, a common person or a couple, let's say a Belizean couple would be best, and they handled, again, five, six, seven, even ten of these homes that are going to be built at Secret Beach, and they provided the experience. Uh, maybe the husband, along with doing some maintenance to all the homes and then looking after them, maybe he's a licensed tour guide. So maybe he personally can take them out and have beach barbecues on those beautiful waters of the west side of Ambergris Bay. Okay, so you start to understand. Now imagine the reviews that you're going to get. And here's why I think this is very important. Because many of you are looking at buying or have bought off beach properties. So they might not be at the beach, right? So if I'm gonna come down to the United States and Canada, I'm gonna first start to look at places on the beach. Now, some of those obviously are gonna be out of my price range. So I might say, you know what, I'll stay a block back. I'll stay two blocks back from the beach 
if I see that this place has incredible reviews. Um, you know, I showed up, they had a welcome drink for me, uh, there were cool towels in the refrigerator. This is what we used to do when we worked for one of the resorts on the island, is that uh, people would travel all day, they would fly down to Belize, then catch the puddle jumper over to Ambergris Key. By the time they landed, it was three, four in the afternoon, they were hot, they were sweaty, they were still wearing their, their warm clothes, right, that they flew out of the U.S. with, uh, sweaters and whatnot, and it'd be 90 degrees on the island. And so what we did is we had a little cooler, and we took some um, some white, um, uh, not napkins, um, washcloths. We soaked them in water, a little bit of lavender oil on there, and uh, they were kept in the refrigerator. So when we took them out, they would land. Second, they get off the plane, give them a big hug, hand them one of these ice cold washcloths taken right out of the uh, the ice bag. Oh, they just love that. Maybe handed them a cocktail at the same time, find out before if they drink or not. Uh, that experience went a long way to welcome them to the island. But you can keep that up. You can provide that experience. There is so much to do on Ambergris Key. But, you know, sometimes people, uh, they don't want to plan too much, or, or maybe they just don't know um, what to plan. But you, being the local expert and your little team of people caring for your property, they're going to know the secret restaurants to go to, uh, where to get good discounts, uh, where the best snorkeling and fishing is, where they can go for a little secluded romantic getaway. Um, you know, you you can plan all this for your guest. And again, you're not trying to recreate the wheel here, right? You're not trying to find that one person on island who can just work for you. Uh, what you're doing is you're getting a couple together uh, who's going to be managing several of these homes. So I think this is an excellent way to provide a real service and just to get your reviews off the charts, people are going to fall in love with you, your property, Secret Beach, Belize, and uh, and then who knows? Uh, maybe you can even sell some real estate. In fact, that's the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is if you start to do this, right? So you you have a an Airbnb uh, booklet inside each of each of these homes, and that booklet is filled with recommendations. In fact, here's what I recommend: even before you start renting your place. Go through the, the um, in fact, this is an idea. Maybe we can even put this together uh, together and I can have uh, one of my Upwork guys create a PDF. Uh, this is a fantastic idea. So imagine if, if all of the houses at Secret Beach had this binder in it, which had recommendations for restaurants, tour guides, what to see on the mainland, uh, everything else in there. Uh, but it also had a little real estate section. And of course, this guy would be uh, highlighting a few properties in and around Secret Beach. Well, if the person were to stay in your unit and purchase one of these properties, of course, you would be handsomely rewarded with a nice little referral fee. So win, 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 right? So you you did well. You rented the place out. You made a little commission. I did well. I made a little commission. And we got to introduce someone new to the area. And uh, maybe they get their own property and have their own house too. So those are just my thoughts for the day. Hope you would uh, enjoy hearing those. Uh, I was thinking about making this video because I had a client on the phone yesterday who asked for uh, some recommendations of some property managers. And I can just do that. I can just you know send out some, some names and email addresses. But in this area, especially of Secret Beach, I think there's a better way. And I think this is the way to do it. So I hope this was helpful today. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Uh, if you're looking at specific lots, let me know that too. Over the past uh, four or five weeks, we've had quite a bit of inventory move. So some of the things you might be seeing on the YouTube channel or on the uh, website are no longer available through the process of closing. But uh, I got my people on the ground right now and we're looking for the next killer deal or two. Uh, and by the way, I still have... That sixth row lot, I can't believe it's still available because I know right now I have at least three clients sitting on the fence. And in fact, it's, it's got to be getting sore sitting on that fence because I, I know um, we've been talking to death about that sixth row lot. It's fifty-five grand. Uh, I mean, come on, it's it's right there. So. If one of you three don't end up getting it, I'm going to sell it to someone else. And I'm not going to say I told you so, but I'm probably going to say I told you so. So uh, if you don't pick that up, you know what? We'll find you something. But as of today, and today is uh, May 12th, that is the best lot I have that close to the beach. Now, I do have another lot that is a fifth row lot. 
I haven't been advertising. Uh, it is uh, just on the south side of Secret Beach. That lot is going for $65,000. So again, it's one lot closer, sixty-five grand, and the owner will sell it uh, with owner carry financing. This particular owner has it in his IRA, so it's a very easy purchase. So again, fifth row lot for sixty-five, sixth row lot for fifty-five, and if you want to get right near the beach, man, pop ninety-five thousand for that second row. Or here's an even better idea: two hundred fifty grand, two fifty for that prime lot number two two one at Secret Beach. You know, you buy that. Tell you what, I'll go on record right now. Anyone in the next, let's say, seven days buys lot two two one. Um, I will buy your flights down to Belize uh, for you and your wife for for a couple. So two round trip tickets to Belize from anywhere in the U.S. or Canada for the next couple who buys lot two two one on Secret Beach. All right. So let me know what you're thinking. Uh, email me. Be happy to get you on a Zoom call or FaceTime call. Talk about your specific needs, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.